What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Fishing OD. In today's video, I am super excited to present to you a product that I've been dying to get my hands on and dying to try out, that being the new Shimano Mastiff FC. This is Shimano's 100% fluorocarbon line that they just officially released at iCast. And I got a couple spools here. And in today's video, we're gonna be covering some of the features, some of the characteristics, and I'm gonna be spooling up my bait caster with some 12 pound Mastiff FC. And I'm gonna be going out there to try to get on a couple smallmouth, give you guys some casting tests, and be sure to stick around to the end of the video where I'm gonna give you my overall thoughts and impressions on this line. So first things first, I only have three spools with me. I got 12 pound, I got 10 pound, and I believe I got eight pound. My 10 and my eight are gonna be used personally for leader material, but my 12 pound is gonna be going on my Corrado bait caster. Some of the notable characteristics about this line is the fact that it is super supple, it casts far, and apparently it's got great knot strength. And the reason I say apparently is because like I said, I have yet to use this line. We're gonna be using it in today's video. But first, like I said, I just wanted to cover a couple of the characteristics and features. So that way when I'm out on the water using it, I'll be able to let you guys know at the end of the video if these features and characteristics are as they claim to be. So like I said, knot strength, castability and suppleness. Those are three things that when it comes to any fluorocarbon line that you wanna be looking at. And now to get into the technology of this line, the way that Shimano claims to have this improved knot strength is through a technology called Nano Armor. So essentially what Nano Armor is, is nano ridges along the outside of the line, which is supposed to increase knot strength. And I guess that is due to the friction of the ridges. If it was too smooth, it would probably tend more to slip, I guess. So the little tiny nano ridges are what keep that knot in place. So that's pretty much it as far as the features and characteristics of this line. I'm gonna get this spooled up on my Corrado 70 MGL, which is on my jerkbait setup. We're gonna go toss around a world minnow and we're gonna see if we can get ourselves a couple smallmouth in the process. No, no. <laughs> I just dropped my rod glove and my glasses in the water. All right, so that's the setup, Corrado 70 MGL. XG. I got that paired up with the new Shimano SLX. This is a six foot 10 medium, extra fast. And I obviously got a world minnow already set up, but we're gonna be cutting this off and we're gonna be re-spooling this line with the new Shimano Mastiff FC. Out with the old and in with the new. They also do parallel winding on this spool, which is also, I guess, something that they uh, mention in their like advertising of this product. And you guys always wanna make sure that when you're spooling on fluorocarbon, you're spooling it on your reels the right way because there is a wrong way to do it. First things first, pulling it straight out of the packaging, like, cause I haven't even opened these yet. First things first that I notice is it actually feels surprisingly thin. I don't know, I don't know what I previously had on this reel, but compared to what I just pulled off, this is definitely thinner for a 12 pound. And coming off the spool, super supple. You can see this line doesn't want to jump off the spool. And look at that, as I'm undoing it, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's absolutely zero coiling happening right here. I actually wasn't expecting that. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I wasn't expecting that. That's actually amazing. Okay, I'm gonna get this on the reel now. Yeah, it's definitely one of the most supple that I've ever spooled onto a reel. Like fresh off the spool, super supple, no memory. I'm curious to see castability. It's gotta be good on this. We're just gonna fish the line and I'm gonna give you my impressions on it. That's it. Well, we put the entire spool on there. I actually could have put a little bit more. That's surprising. These are 90 meter spools and I managed to put a full 90 meters in a 70 sized reel. Yeah, this line, I can already tell this line feels great. So I cut my tag end super short. So if this knot slips at all, that tag is gonna pop right through. So we're gonna see, it's a pretty good knot. I have faith in that. We're gonna get everything packed away. We're gonna make a little run and we're gonna head to the first spot of the day to try to get on some smallmouth on this sick setup. All right. We're gonna make our first cast with it. I don't expect to catch anything where I am right now. First cast, we're gonna be back to the wind. So we're gonna have that added benefit of the wind. Bombs out so far. The line is stupid how straight it is. Obviously it's fresh off the spool. We're gonna see how well that ages. Cause obviously after a little while of it sitting on a spool, it could get pretty coiled up. What I noticed too, is that it's actually surprisingly like clear. I find sometimes my fluoro has kind of like a whitish tint to it, but this one is pretty, pretty clear. Anyway, that was back to the wind. Let's see if, uh, if I cast into the wind. I'm probably gonna regret it. I'm probably gonna get a backlash, guaranteed. 
Oh, wow. No, that was actually insanely good. It barely jumped off the spool. Usually when you cast fluorocarbon into the wind like that, by the way, I don't know if the wind noise is bad for you guys. I just hope it's not. But usually when you cast fluorocarbon into the wind like that, um, it has a tendency of completely jumping off your spool. So far, that wasn't the case with this. We're probably gonna go hit the main lake, but first I gotta pick up my buddy. My buddy's gonna be joining me today for a little afternoon fishing session. I got some good spots for jerk baiting too. We're just gonna have to go hit them once I pick up my buddy. There's one. Huh, wow, I was in the middle of, <laughs> it's small, but first fish on the Shimano Mastiff FC, little smallmouth. Crushed the jerk bait. Uh, he crushed the world minnow. Little guy. All right, fish number one on the Shimano Mastiff fluorocarbon. A little smallmouth. We're gonna see if we can get some bigger ones though today. Wow, it casts so far. I usually get some good distance on this setup, but this line is absolutely bombing right now. I don't know if it's just coincidence, if it's just me imagining, but that's gonna be for you guys to try yourselves. Let me know down in the comments below if you try out this line and what you guys think of it. So far, I'm loving it. All right, guys, on another spot, once again, tossing the World Minnow and the new Mastiff Fluorocarbon. Just boated a couple nice smallmouth off this, on this setup, so we're gonna see if there's any more. Oh, there's one. He ate it next to the boat. Oh yeah, right next to the boat. That's nuts. Dude, I watched him eat it. I had like no line out. This guy would like to get in. He's doing everything but getting in. There we go. Oh man, I already caught a lot of fish on this fluoro today, guys. This is paying its dues. It's not a bad one. That's actually the best one of the day, I think. That's what he looks like. Not a giant, not a bad fish. Once again, on the world minnow and the new Mastiff fluorocarbon. All right, let's get this guy right back. So what's really nice about the fluorocarbon guys is I'm actually getting these really, really long casts. I'm fishing a structure that's super far away, which is giving me time to work these fish as they pull off the structure to chase the jerk bait. Like that one hit next to the boat. Oh, I just got swiped. Oh, oh, it's a big pike. No, no, it's a big pike. Oh no. Well, this is gonna be a good test for the fluoro guys. I think he swallowed it. I think that's swallowed. I don't see the bait at all anymore. We got 12 pound, we got a big pike on. I feel the teeth scraping up against the line. Putting the Mastiff to the test. I don't want to lose this World Minnow. I'm, I'm actually good, I'm actually good. It should be fine. Wait, look at that World Minnow gone. <gasps> no. Oh goodness. All right, well, talk about a test. Nice little pike had the World Minnow completely gone. Gonna get this fish back and we're gonna take a look at the floor to see how it did. Go pike. There we go, he's gone. Wash the hands. Dude, the fluoro barely has any scratches on it. That's crazy, and I felt the teeth rub up against it. There's one. Man, oh man. This setup feels great. We're not even gonna pull this guy out of the water. I wanna keep it quick. Back. Little guy. Pip, squeak, come off, please. Can't stand messing with troubles. Oh. All right, everyone, we are back home after a fun time on the water. 
And now here are my final thoughts on the product. As far as fluorocarbon lines go, this is in my opinion up there as one of the best offerings on the market. I was beyond pleased with the castability and suppleness of this line. I was also pleasantly surprised with how low memory it was fresh off the spool. And even once it sat on my reel all day, my line would come out perfectly straight on each cast. Furthermore, as a good fluorocarbon should, it performed extremely well when it came to abrasion resistance. As demonstrated by the pike I caught, that pike had the world minnow completely inhaled and I actually felt the teeth clipping my line. When I pulled my line in to check it, it didn't show any signs of the line being compromised. So that's it when it comes to the new Shimano Mastiff FC. I hope you all enjoyed this one. If there's anything you feel that I left out or if you have any questions, curiosities or concerns, feel free to drop a comment down below and I will get back to you. If you enjoyed my breakdown on this amazing line, please be sure to like the video and hit that subscribe button to support the channel. If you're looking for further ways to support the channel, head over to www.fishingod.com and pick up some merch. I got toques, which I'm not wearing, and I got hoodies as of right now. And as sad as it is to say for us Northerners, that colder weather is quickly approaching. So head over and pick up some merch while supplies last. And lastly, on my website, I also have my Fishing OD Lightroom preset packs available for purchase. So if you wanna take your fishing photography to the next level, whether it be with your phone or camera, my Lightroom preset packs for mobile and desktop were designed specifically for ease of use and to make your fishing photos look awesome. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.